right. I am here with Tim Robbins, Hello. <laughs> actor, producer, writer. You know, you know what you do. Uh, but you are also the founder of the Actors Gang, which you talked to Bill on the show about this amazing project that you're doing with the prisons. Mm -hmm. And there's so much that goes into it, and everything that you guys said was so interesting. But we didn't really talk about the fact that all this stuff costs money for props and for costumes and makeup and people's time, right? Well, salary, too, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Yes, and we have never gotten a dollar from state funding, so we uh, have, it's been a privately funded uh, project. And uh, so we rely on, on the public to, uh, to fund us. And right now we're actually in the middle of a crowd rise campaign. Very nice. And uh, we're raising money for the prison project, which you can do through crowd rise and look for the Actors Gang, or you can go to our website at theactorsgang.com, and that has a link to that campaign. And you were telling Bill this, or you started talking about this story about the magnanimous ass. Can you tell me a little bit more <laughs> yeah. about that? That's well, really funny. it's pretty amazing what happened. We had been training this group of inmates uh, in a certain part of the prison. Uh, we had done about three or four sessions with them, and then we told them we we're going to move into a different part of the prison, a little more high security. And uh, and we said, well, you know, you're on your own. And as, and eight months later, we found out. <clears throat> that they had then gone to the prison and asked for a room one day a week and this a couple of the people that we had trained took it upon themselves to train 40 new inmates in this kind of work and this training and this uh, uh, ability to you know reform themselves and deal with their emotions in a more productive way than the way that landed them in prison. And we went back, and uh, when they invited us, they had written a play called The Magnanimous Ass, <laughs> and they had performed it. They, had, they, they performed it, but they had made costumes. They had made Commedia dell'arte masks out of uh, paper and glue, and the shoe leather from their prison issue boots. And they had made this incredible thing. There was live music. There was, uh, uh, um, and it was the story was amazing too because it was about this um, this uh, magnanimous ass that. And an uh, island where all these guys were stuck, and they all tried to get off of the island for individual reasons. Mm -hmm. And it, eventually, um, the lesson they learned from the magnanimous sass is that once they start collectively working towards something or looking after each other, then they can start to think about getting off the island. So, with a little bit of prison resourcefulness thrown in there. Yes, <laughs> uh, and a lot of metaphor. Right. Yes, yeah. It sounds like a contagious thing. Like you give these guys the tools to do what they you know, to kind of improve themselves and then they can spread it around without you even being there. And it, it was a really inspiring thing for us, as, it, as doing the program is for all the people that are teachers that go in it. And we, we've seen the effectiveness of it. We, uh, uh, we have guys tell us that they can talk to their families for the first time, their children when they visit, they can express emotions they've never expressed before. They can uh, legitimize their own existence in prison by their own acknowledgement of their own humanity through this program. And they can accept responsibility more and work towards goals together and solve problems together. And it's a very, very productive, inspiring program. And, and I, I know it works. I've seen it. I had one guy tell me uh, that he was, uh, there's this one prison guard that was very mean to them and would put them uh, in or into their dorms early and take them out late and all this uh, aggressive behavior and abuse, abusive language and, and, and after he, said, he says after I took the course he said I started looking at that guy in a different way whereas before I hated him now I was just I felt like what is going on in this guy's life that he has to act out this way so it's actual empathy for a person that's oppressing you which is a highly advanced emotion and that, that these guys are able to get there by this work is really, really a good news for all of us when these kinds of guys get out of prison. And they will. And they, and they will, and they will deal with adversity when they come out. There will be a, a job that they thought they were going to have that they don't get, and there will be an emotional response from uh, a partner or a loved one that they didn't expect. And this kind of training allow, gives them the tools to, to weather the storm and to stop uh, this cycle of reoffending. Well, that is an amazing program. Thank you so much My for uh, putting your time into that. My pleasure. Go check out the Actors Gang website and contribute to their Crowd Rise initiative there. And uh, go ahead and see. Thanks for sharing in theaters because it's going to be great. All right. Thanks again. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye.